Hello everybody, in this video series I'll be your guide to the Battle of Wesnot. Battle of Wesnot is a free, open source, cross-platform, turn-based strategy game. The purpose of the game is to use your leader and defeat the enemy leader. You do this by conquering villages that will increase your income Gold is then used to recruit new units. While your leader is on a keep, you can recruit new units in a castle. During your turn you can move and attack with all your units. The opponent can also move and attack with all his units during his turn. The game features more than 200 units in 6 default factions as well as 16 default um, campaigns. I recommend trying out some of these campaigns, I think they are rather good. Also has a multi the game also has a multiplayer feature with an official server. You can find the uh, replays of all the games you play on this server on the internet. So that is also a very useful feature. The game also has a map editor. In this map editor you can build your own maps just the way you want them. You can build terrain, you can also set the location where the players must start the game, and so on. One of the important aspects of the game is the gaming community. For example, there is a, a ladder system that is maintained by the community, where you can find and download many different replays of rated games. As I mentioned, the community uh, has also made a lot of add-ons. So besides the default campaigns, there are also many user-made campaigns, some of which are pretty good. There are also more factions. An Ageless Era is one of the downloadable uh, unit packs that uh, combines many of these different eras so you can have much many more playable factions. The game also features pretty terrain and smooth terrain transitions which is definitely an upgrade over the previous vers versions of Battle of Wesnot. This is one of the great features of open source games. They are continuously under development, always improving, always getting better. In the next videos, I'll be going over some of the basic game concepts and factions in order to allow you to play a multiplayer game. I think it's useful to examine the different units in the different factions just so you have a basic idea what the strengths and weaknesses are of the different uni units and which units you should recruit, recruit during your turn. It's also good to know some of these basic game concepts, such as time of day, but also unit abilities such as le leadership, poison and so on. Another important aspect is terrain and defense, um, and I'll be going over those in some of the next videos, so I'll see you there.